So why are we even debating this issue? Here's the problem. You pick up any, any book, any article, any research on leadership, either online or in a bookstore, any place you go, and if you look at leadership styles, chances are that it will be singing the praises of all-inclusive, democratic, I love you all, consensus building leadership styles. That's the way to go. Most of the literature says that, right? They say, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, take a lot of people with you, build consensus, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Teamwork, collaboration, all that. And yet, you see examples like Steve Jobs. You see examples like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Lee Kuan Yew, who rocked the history of the planet by doing the exact opposite, by being autocrats. So which one is true? All the literature that you see, the popular literature on leadership, or these examples that I just shared? So Richard, let me bring you in. What do you think? What you're really saying. <laughs> Here it comes. Well, hang on. You are saying that these great men and women who led to such magnificent advancements mm -hmm. were nothing more than personal dictators. I didn't say personal dictators. No, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Okay. 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 So you're saying they are personal dictators and therefore they are bad examples. I am saying that you are cherry picking. Okay. You are choosing examples that best serve your purpose. All right. And I am challenging you, sir, to justify your position. Okay, here goes. So it's, the thing is, it is, it is a problem, right? These are two polarizing ideas. We thought, let's ask the world. Why should I fight with him and he fight with me? Why don't we ask the whole world? So we asked people, a bunch of questions in 28 countries. Here are the set of questions that we asked. Uh, we said, what do great leaders have in common? That was the first question, okay? So you ask for justification, it's coming up. We showed them profiles of some great leaders. By the way, the reason you see a ring around a certain person in, on my slide is because three years ago when we did the research, she qualified, in our opinion, as the, one of the great leaders. Uh, but now we have question marks and hence, in some of my slides, you have rings uh, because this, uh, these are th two or three year old. But anyway, see these kinds of leaders, we showed people the profiles of these people. Uh, you know, some are business leaders, some are societal, some are political. And we asked them, what do such great leaders have in common? And we gave them a set of behaviors or leadership attributes to choose from. You don't have to read each one of them, but just know that the pink ones were my way of the high, uh, sorry, pink ones were I love you all, all inclusive democratic leadership behaviors, and the blue ones were my way or the highway, autocratic behaviors. And we asked them to choose the top three commonalities that such leaders have, okay? Which ones do you think ended up on top, the blue ones or the pink ones? The pink? The blue? How many people say blue? How many people say, how many people say blue? Okay, how many people say pink? Okay, so it's about a 60-40 split. Here's the data. All the blue ones ended up on the top. The whole world, at least the 28 country sample that we used, says autocratic leadership is what made these people great. Now, can you imagine when we shared this data with my colleagues, all hell broke loose at the office. Uh, some even threatened to quit. Is this what ECLIF stands for? Are we going to tell people to legitimize their bad behavior? So, well, let's check this one more time. So we asked the second question. What do business leaders today need to do in order to create breakthrough results? And guess what? All the blue ones on the top again. Whoa, twice we asked the question, slightly differently, but we get the same answer. What does this even mean? That, you know, we, the politically correct thing to say is that we need democratic inclusion. Give me a minute. Uh, whereas deep down we have the urge uh, to have a leader who knows exactly what to do and be autocratic. Is that what this means? We said, well, 
before we go to the world with this, let's check it one last time. And we asked a third question. This time we ask a yes or no question. Is a significant amount of bold, top-down, autocratic leadership needed to create breakthrough results in today's age of speed? And look at this. 75% of our people, of our database, agreed or strongly agreed. And the best part is, there was no difference and no exceptions by country. Look at this. These are all the 28 countries that we surveyed, and the green bars are the ones who said the percentage of people in each country that say agree or strongly agree. So here, Richard, is the proof that people agree that autocratic leadership is needed in today's world. 